Hey guys, it's Landon McCarter with Secure Agent Marketing. I've been working with clients all day today on their websites and their marketing, um, and I've been noticing some consistent themes that I've been helping my clients through, and I wanna just uh, share those with you. So I wanna shoot a quick video, it's really simple. I'm gonna give you three quick tips for your insurance website, okay? So the first tip I wanna focus in on is speed, all right? So that first um, important part is speed. Now. Uh, we're going to throw up a link on the screen and it's also in the description of this video where you can go do Google speed test all right, on your website. All you do is go to that link, you put in your URL, and it'll give you sort of a rating of 1 to 100 on your mobile version and your desktop version. Okay? Your website speed is incredibly important. Okay? There's a couple reasons why. One, um, it's going to drastically increase your costs on your marketing efforts if you're driving website traffic to the, to the page. Your Google, if you're doing search engine optimization, it's going to hurt your SEO. If you're doing paid ads, it's going to hurt your cost per conversion because people are going to bounce instead of actually convert. Um, it's a very costly mistake and typically it's not that hard to fix. Some people just don't know that they have a slow website. So if you go to this link, you type in your URL, it'll give you a rating out of 1 out of 10. If you are looking at that number and it's red or yellow, it's time for you to make some changes on, on that site speed and do what you can to increase that site speed. Right. One of the things um, that I also want to go through in the, from the second uh, place is to make sure that your website is secure. Okay. Now, this is there's a lot of of you know things that secure could mean, but there's one specific version that I want to kind of make sure that you're um, aware of. Right. So if you go to Google Chrome and you type in your URL and you go to your website on the top left, it'll say not secure if it's not secure. So if you put in your Google URL, it says not secure, that is a problem. That's your SSL certification. You need to get that fixed because Google is starting to highly, highly reward secure websites over non-secure websites. Also, it hurts all of your paid advertising, et cetera. So if, you know, some people don't really know what that is or what that means, but if you see that little um, not secure before your URL in the search bar of Google Chrome, you're, you're in deep trouble. You need to do what you can to fix that. If you need help, we would love to help you out with that. It's not rocket science to fix, but you can reach out to us and we can kind of talk through it all. Right? So that's the main thing I want to talk about on secure. The third thing I want to go through is mobile friendly. This is where I'm going to um, spend a little bit of time on this video. All right, Mobile friendly. Now, everybody knows that their website needs to be mobile friendly, but um, is your website mobile friendly? Okay, so we're going to put a link in the description that's Google's mobile friendly test. Um, and what you need to do is go to that uh, URL, put in your website, and it'll give you different versions of different windows to determine if your website is mobile friendly. It'll give you a rating, etc. Mobile friendly is super important. Okay, the reason it's important is I just want to walk you through one of my clients' uh, visuals on their Google Analytics to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So in this, in this um, image that you're looking at, you're, what you're looking at is a 30-day view of one of my client's websites. I'm obviously not going to share who it is, um, but they happen to be doing Medicare uh, and Medicare SUP, Medicare Advantage, etc. So you would typically think that that's an older demographic. So these numbers may shock you. It is still a highly, a majority of their traffic is mobile as opposed to desktop. So if you look at this, in the last 30 days, they've had 566 people actually go to their website and check out their services and look at their plans, etc. This is a Medicare client, okay? And they still had a majority, 52% of their website traffic was mobile friendly, 40% uh, was desktop, and then tablets was, was uh, let's see, 8%. Now tablets obviously are like iPads and Chromebooks, etc. Okay? Now, what I want to do also is walk through these other columns that you're, that you're looking at. Okay, so the next column over is new users. So what you want to look at is you want to make sure that those users are new because that's what we're doing with our marketing efforts. We want new people on our website, not just the exact same people going in over and over and over, right? But what I want to focus in on is the next column over, um, past sessions, where it says bounce rate on the behavior section, okay? If you look at their average bounce rate, it's 56% for these last 30 days. I will tell you that the bounce rate range of being safe is anywhere from 40 to 60 percent. I would consider 40 percent an A plus and 60 percent a C. Okay, um, it's hard to influence the bounce rate. It takes time, but really all the bounce rate means is is how many individuals came to our website landing page and then bounced out without going through further pages. So if you'll notice, 
the mobile traffic and the desktop traffic have different bounce rates, okay? So the mobile bounce rate was 63% while the desktop bounce rate was 48%. What that means is, is that always tells us that when people are looking for Googling and Googling terms and shopping on their phone, they are very interested in quick responses on their phone because they're just going to close out the app or whatever, or the, the web browser and go to something else or back out or whatever. So your site speed and being mobile friendly is incredibly important. And, and here's numbers that prove it. And this is actually a very um, large local Medicare agency in the southeast of, this, of, of the country, right? You'll also notice that the, the average session duration um, on the far right is vastly different between uh, desktop and mobile, right? You've got one minute on average of this client um, that, uh, I'm sorry, the, this website is, is the average duration of the session is one minute on mobile versus three minutes on desktop. So this is telling us that this client really needs to work on their site speed and their mobile version of their website big time because clients are going to their website on their desktop and they're not spending, or they're spending way more time on their desktop than they are on their mobile. These are some red flags we need to start working on. This is some of the things that we need to start working on together um, to improve our overall website engagement rate along with lead flow. Um, this particular client was, was you know, frustrated with the amount of leads that they were getting from their website. And so we just went to some of these places. I showed them kind of what was going on and now we have an action plan to do that, right? So the main thing I want you guys to really follow through with is those three things, right? Speed, security, and mobile friendly, all right? I hope this video was able to help you guys out. If you get stuck in any of these issues that you don't really know what to do, um, you know, reach out to us. Secure Agent Marketing is built to help you with these things. We do consulting, we do web development, everything. And also just for a word of encouragement, typically in the industry, people are redesigning their website every four to five to six years anyways. So a lot of times these issues can be solved just by redesigning a website because it's just time to do so. Uh, your website should be a living, breathing thing that you wanna reinvest in constantly. And it is very standard to be redesign an entire new website every five to six years. So thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate your attention. And I hope this helps you guys be successful in your passive lead flow through your website.